Welcome back. It's been a while since I made a bear video. I'm gonna to try to keep this short and sweet. My bear season didn't go well. Um, you saw the first video of the year, I wrecked my car. <laughs> I ended up getting a new car actually. Not because of that reason, but just kind of a culmination of everything wrong with that car. Uh, I started off the season with five baits. I did a lot of scouting through spring and early summer and I started baiting in early June. I had three baits on public land, two on private, and they all started off hot. Uh, I One of the ones on public, I baited it and within an hour, a sound of cover in there hit, that hit it. So I had high hopes. Uh, I had, I ran all those baits until about early August. And then I decided to pull two of them from public. One of them I pulled was because the the walk just became too much. It was almost a 35, 40 minute walk one direction. And that's just, that it's not worth my time. I'm, I'm busy, I work full time. I was trying to get out there after work and bait twice a week at least and sent up my baits. And it was just, I didn't have enough time in the day to get that one baited. And I had one about a half a mile from that one. I had three baits in one area and then two in the in this other area. And the other one that was close to the bait I was just talking about pulling, I ended up pulling that one too. I had that bait closer to public access, so it didn't surprise me that that one kind of dried up once I noticed other cars start, or other people out like scouting or trying to pick berries. And I decided it's not worth my time to drive over to this other area for just one bait. So I pulled that one and I just started rolling with the three. And then that first week of September, my I had a bait on per, a piece of permission land that I had. And the land that I had permission on actually got sold. So I talked to the new owner and he said he would prefer if I pulled my bait because he would have a few people in there bow hunting. So I wanted to be friendly with him, be cordial. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. I had no issues with what he said. So. Good luck to them bow hunting, but that unfortunately was probably my best bait. I That one got hit the most in daylight by the nicest bears and that kind of sucked. So then I was down to two in September and I was still running twice a week, trying to bait them, trying to get them smelling, but nothing was working. I didn't have a bear hit a bait from August 26th until October 2nd. I think that a big reason of that was because one pressure, you notice, I notice people start getting out in the woods again in August, trying to scout for deer, picking berries, doing whatever they do. Two, the black bears got ripe. Three, there was a huge acorn crop this year, like bigger than I can ever remember. I was talking to my cousin who was big into bear hunting up north and he said that this is the biggest acorn crop he's ever seen. And a lot of old timers up there said the same thing. So bears didn't have to go anywhere to eat. They didn't have a problem finding food and the baits that they wanted to hit or that they were hitting prior, they just didn't need to hit anymore. They would only hit them if they were just wanted to switch it up for food or whatever. And unfortunately my baits weren't the ones they wanted to hit. Um, come around October 2nd, I had a big bear. It looked like a big boar. Like I'll throw it up on screen right now. Like probably 350, 400 pound bear hit on the bait on my land. And gave me a little hope. I started baiting again, not baiting again, but I started hunting actually. I That last week of season from October 2nd to October 10th, I sat five times. I would go right after work or on the weekends. Like I was just trying to get up there as much as I can to possibly get a crack at one. Another, during that time, another smaller bear, probably around 250 pounds hit the same bait. And they were both hitting in the middle of the night. Um, the earliest one I had hit was that smaller one hit around 7.30 one of the nights. I don't remember which night it was, but I was hoping that one would just slip up and actually show itself in daylight. Unfortunately, it never happened. Uh, and that is how my bear season concluded. I got all my baits pulled at this point. It, all my cameras are down from bear hunting, my stands. It, I just, it's done. Hopefully next year, my dad, my dad talked about possibly putting it in for a tag. And if he goes in for a kill tag, we'll probably only run a bait or two. So it shouldn't be as time consuming as it was this year. And 
maybe he'll end up getting one. But yeah, that's kind of how my bear season ended. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little animated intro that I made. I worked hard on that. Too bad I couldn't get to use it more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, probably during a deer video.